is the real deal when it comes to international refugee crisis. She is today in Lebanon working on the Syrian crisis. When she comes back, she's going to dive into one of the greatest American stories of the 20th century, and this one is in her own backyard. This is one of those only in Hollywood stories. Hello? Hi. Boop. Oh, my God. I miss you. Oh, I miss, I miss you. you, honey. I love you. Oh, Legendary World War II hero, Louis Zamperini, and one of the most famous women in the world, Angelina Jolie, the hot new couple. What a gal. Oh, my. What a man. He became famous almost 80 years ago. And then again, when his phenomenal life story appeared in the big bestseller, Unbroken. Now 97, a young Louis Zamperini first won prominence during Hitler's 1936 Berlin Olympics. I've been studying World War II for a long time, as you know. You're the only person I've ever met who met Hitler after you had that dramatic finish in the 1500 meters. What did he say to you? And all he said was, the boy with the fast finish. That was it. And I couldn't really shake hands. He was up pretty high. So I just reached up and touched his hand. But that was just one fleeting moment in a legendary American life. Unbroken, the film will come to the big screen later this year. And Angelina Jolie is the director. You train, you fight harder than those other guys, and you win. Just watching the two of you, I'll bet this is not just a filmmaker's journey for you. I mean, this becomes really personal. Very personal. Because you've got the legacy of this amazing man in your hands and on the big screen. Uh, such, a, such a huge responsibility to get it right because I love him so much and because he's helped me so much in my life. During World War II, Louis Bomber was shot down in the Pacific. 47 days in a bare raft subjected to barbaric war crimes in a Japanese POW camp. He was thought lost forever, declared dead. And now decades later, he's here to see his life story brought to the screen by a Hollywood superstar. Did you find the book on your own or did somebody send it to you? I wanted to direct something again, um, but I, I just wasn't sure what, and, and I wanted to, it had to be something I would love and care about because it takes much more time away from your family and much more effort than, than acting. It might surprise you just how difficult it was, even for Angelina Jolie, to get a green light. This has been the hardest thing I've ever done. I had all this, you know, hours of phone calls and things, and then I made all these boards. I took my glue and tape and I pictures off the Internet and tried to, and I put all my, my boards in a garbage bag and I carried them to Universal myself and put them out, and I pitched my butt off. But just for when it is wide. But do you want to send a message here as well? For me, I think Louis has been very clear about what his message is, and, and certainly the book. And I think for my children, and for everybody in the world, I want to be able to say it can seem dark, and it can seem hopeless, and it can seem very overwhelming, but, but the resilience and the strength of the human spirit is an extraordinary thing. When she finally got word she would direct the film, Unbroken, she couldn't wait to meet Louis. Where is he? Is he... See, round. I think somebody said he knows where you live. Indeed, he did. As we said, only in Hollywood. From Louis' patio, you can literally see across to Angelina's home. They were neighbors and never had a clue. Louis, this was meant to be because your girlfriend lives in the neighborhood. Yeah, I can show you my roof from, from the window. I imagine that for the last 10-something years, he's been sitting there having a coffee in the morning and wondering... Who's going to make this movie? Right. And I've been sitting in my room, laying there thinking, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? I want to do something important. I want, to, I want to connect. I need some help. I need some guidance. Where is it? And it was right outside my window. <laughs> He's 97 years old. It's uh, really remarkable. And when she gets back to Los Angeles, Angelina will resume work on Unbroken at Universal Studios, which, of course, are owned by our parent company, NBC Universal. And we will be following up with her in the coming months.